Welcome, my name is Teresa Krochmer, and I'm the Solutions Marketing Manager for Requirements Definition and Management. In this demo, you'll see how to create a requirement in Rational Requirements Composer, and then transfer it to Requisite Pro for Management. A requirement is an artifact that describes a condition or capability to which a system must conform. Rational Requirements Composer enables you to create requirements at any point in the design of your application. There are many ways to create requirements in Rational Requirements Composer. In this demo, we're going to create a requirement from the Requirements tab. We'll also specify the requirement type attributes, link to a document, insert a business process diagram, and create a comment. Click on Create a Requirement. Type the name of the requirement. Select a requirement type. Note that these requirement types can be set up to correspond to those in Rational Requisite Pro. The attributes that apply to the requirement type appear in the sidebar. Select the attribute values in the Attribute Value drop-down list. Add the details to the requirement. Right-click and select Create Link from the pop-up menu, then create a link to a document called Business Objectives. The link to the artifact appears in the requirement. Information about the link also appears in the sidebar. The number of the links you create appears here. Add text that introduces a business process diagram and then insert that diagram. Right click and select Insert Artifact from the pop up menu. Type the name of the artifact, purchase a CD, until recognized, and then select it. The artifact appears in the requirement, and a link to the artifact appears in the sidebar. Note that if you double-click on the artifact, you can optionally edit it. To add a comment to the artifact, right-click on it and click Add Comments from the pop-up menu. Add a subject, a comment, and a user to whom you want to direct the comment. Optionally, change the priority. The comment appears in the sidebar. Note that the artifacts that you linked to or inserted appear in the sidebar as well. Now let's add the requirement to Requisite Pro. You can define requirements in Requirements Composer and add the requirements to a Requisite Pro project. You can also configure a Requirements Composer so that changes that you make to the requirement in either product are synchronized. We'll now configure Requirements Composer to integrate with Requisite Pro and then add a requirement. Finally, we'll change a requirement and watch how the change is propagated to Requisite Pro. To configure Requirements Composer to integrate with Requisite Pro, click the Administration tab. Note that this tab is only visible to administrators. Click Edit Connection. Type the Requisite Pro Server URL. The following is sample data. Your Requisite Pro Administrator will provide you with valid server information. Click Test to ensure your server is valid. Click Browse and select a Requisite Pro project. Type the username and password for your server and then click Next. If you want changes to requirements made in both products to be synchronized, make sure both of these options are selected. The integration is now complete.
You can add a requirement to Requisite Pro from the Requirement pop-up menu. If you select Manage Requirements, the integration dialogs will start. Alternatively, you can perform this action from within the requirements, which is what we'll do. Double-click the requirement to open it. To add this requirement to Requisite Pro, click here. Enter your password. Select the requ Requisite Pro package in which to save the requirement. The requirement has been added. Notice that the Requisite Pro requirement tag now appears in the Manage Requirement field. Click this tag to display the Requisite Pro requirement. If your requirement contained embedded artifacts, they would appear in Requisite Pro as links. The Requisite Pro requirement information is displayed in its own tab in Requirements Composer. If you change and save the requirement, you can see the changes propagate to Requisite Pro by clicking on the Requisite Web tab and refreshing the view. The change now appears in Requisite Pro. Thank you for viewing this demo. For further information, please see any of the resources listed here. We invite you to download the Rational Requirements Composer trial.